All right, we are in it. It is live. This is game number 27 of the fourth Secret Hitler tournament. Seat 1, we have Morientes playing for Stromsteen. That's team 3 in seat 1. We have Sale playing for um, Manu's team. That's team 5 in seat 2. Shlabi is playing for Vice's team. That's team 7 in seat 3. Pingu is the captain of his own team, team 6 in seat 4. Is that Medusa? Medusa playing for his team as well. That's team 4 in seat 5. Mello Wander playing vice captain of Jeb's team, so team 1 in seat 6. And Acra is the captain of her team, so team 2 in seat 7. So this is a, uh, I think this is an ELO men game, or is it a special game? Today is Tuesday. No, it is an ELO men game, and so they sent in the best. But Strom didn't sit, which honestly I'm okay with. Him sending Morientes is a bit uh, ambitious, but I like it. I like to play. <clears throat> I mean, to be fair, there's going to be special games. But it is kind of surprising that some of these ELO mid games would be getting played by the captains and the vice captains, but I guess it's not the worst. However, Morientes is red, red, red in this deck. And now two sixes are RB. Yay, two didn't take him. Remember last game where I completely called wrong lines? Let's try to do a little better. I totally pl blame uh, Maria for that, actually. Whenever somebody overclaims a blue, it just completely messes up my reads. Because I stopped thinking about the fact that they could have overclaimed. Hmm. So if you're in a game with me and you're a fascist, slam that overclaim button button. You'll fucking you'll destroy me. Not that I ever play this game anymore. <laughs> I just like to watch. Mm hmm. What was uh, three seven? Man, I'm so bad at launching the game. Six takes him. Him's too fascist. Let's see it. So that's what a two blue deck. Lord. It looks to me like Morienti's dumped. <clears throat> You could M5 here, but I think I'd M2. I definitely am not Mving in 3-7. Ever. I don't like Mving 6 either. Keep it outside of the people that have touched. But 5 is a viable sort of alternative S or Mv, I think. Yeah, well, that was the most obvious comp of all time. Wander's not looking so hot. Looks like 1-6. I, I, I'd i be willing to call 1-6 also a conf. So, Wander can be lib, but for him to be lib, I think it'd have to be 1-2-X. Hmm. <laughs> They're already calling 1-6-7. <laughs> It, it starts so early in these games, as soon as 167 is viable. Only four blues. But that is good, because it does it does raise the blue state quite a lot. So now both two and three. One of two and three is liberal. So, that's pretty good. Uh, I can retract the 6-1 claim. It was based on it being a 3 blue deck, really. Although, I still think 6-1 is kind of a pseudo-comp, but it's a little weaker now that it's a 4 blue deck. <laughs> if you go 3-4, my fall in love. Pick Medusa. <laughs> there it is. This is where... Players like Medusa can get picked somehow, even though normally you would just go 3-4. Did 
Dislike Three's chat. One drops for four, six, seven. Yeah. So Akko trying to cover for three a little bit. Uh, I don't like Akro's reasoning at all. Akro sounding reasonable is a bit of a scary thing. <laughs> she doesn't usually sound reasonable as either Lib or Fash. <laughs> That's... He picks five and gets red, red, redded. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm seeing seven? Like, come on, man. This is amazing. That little sequence of events where Acro suddenly starts defending three, three picks five, and then three red, red, reds is amazing. The SC is seven or four anyway. How about, do I have the balls to SC Pingu here? After I didn't pick Pingu. Hmm. So I'm calling 1 2 versus 3 6, and then 1 of 3 or 4 5 7. And honestly, I, because 5 looks the worst, I'd be willing to. Hmm, I might SC Pingu over Acro. That might just be bias personally but like just that little sequence with acro I think seven is outing lib so two is essing seven I don't get how seven is outing lib five does not like seven hmm is it one two seven? Hmm. Is it two six seven? Maybe. What? Is Acro claiming she'd claim? Yeah, she's claiming she would comp on 3-7 if 3 was liberal. What? Why? Why would you do that? 1-5 is red? So she's claiming she's fascist. Right. If 1-5 is two liberals, there's no way in hell she'd comp 3-7. Okay? <laughs> That's never a thing. Like, you just let the liberals die inside because they don't have any good players left. Because 1 5 got red, 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 and you got a good deck. There's no need to shake that up. Just let somebody else take him, one of your other fascists, and then you look good. In fact, this is exactly how this would play out if 1 5 was lib lib and 7 was fascist. Six takes him, seven looks great. I don't think it's six, seven, X, but. Oh, 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 oh. Well, people are calling 6-7 Fash Fash in the game. That's kind of interesting. That's Schlobby talking. So Schlobby is, like, resigned to 5. <laughs> Why don't you just SE him, then? Jesus. Yeah, I think I'm done with 3 as well if I'm in seat 4 or 7.
Hmm. The freaking thing is just shutting her down. Stop raging or you are fascist. Um, Schlobby is full in, shaped by five, so whoever five SEs is going to be in it. But I have a feeling that five is fascist and four seven is lib lib, and so that's why Medusa can't just SE somebody. It's like one five and one of two six. Or three five and one of two six. That's definitely feasible, given how this is going. Actually, three five is probably the best. Stalling to try and SE five. Medusa is literally just like SC me. Wow. Wow. Dude, 4 7 are going to override you and play 4 7. They're going to call 3 5 fascist now. That's never a thing. You can't just SC 5 without anyone. 6 doesn't want it. 1. R 1. She says, yeah, one doesn't want it. Who are you getting to vote on five? Three and five so far. Sale said he prefers seven. One said they prefer seven. So you're calling it like one, two, seven. I think five is liberal, actually, now that I think about it. I think there's a lot more people that are really resisting five getting SC that are fascist. But... Uh, to be honest, though, I mean, it's still, it's it's either or, right? Like, either liberals are resisting it because it's just a bad SE, or fascists are resisting it because it's a bad SE. Either way, or but it's a bad SE for fascists. But either way, it's still a bad SE overall. Acro's like 100% sure of 3 is fascist, and I don't blame her. I don't blame her at all. Her logic wasn't particularly great about, you know, playing the blue in 3-7. Like, I think that most fascists would play that blue. But uh, it, it depends on the lines for sure. I mean, maybe if 1-5 is fascist, fash, but we know 6-2 has a fascist, so... The uh, that that logic is kind of bad. I don't think it's four seven or two libs. Eight minutes are up. Let's get an SC, guys. My Pingu's... Pingu! <laughs> One, two, both SC7. I already knew that. It looks like Morientes is fascist. Okay, this gets you on. Three, four, five, seven, all y'all.
Acker's no longer even talking to anybody. <laughs> I'm just glad there's nobody talking to me this game. That's nice. Mm -mm -mm. Why is Acker calling Pigu fascist? See, now, this is the Acro I know, right? She does this, but she does this as both liberal and fascist. Like, I've seen her do this exact so this exact spiel in a tournament as Hitler, you know? And that was the game that me and Scorcher collectively threw together. And I will say that me and Scorcher collectively threw... And we let fucking Maxi win. That was such a depressing game to think back on. But we both got mad at each other for bullshit reasons. And didn't re refused to see each other as lib. Hmm. Pingu, I like Pingu a lot. He sheeped me. He could still be fascist. See, Pingu does this too, as both live and fascist. He sounds really, really liberal. <laughs> he just sounds reasonable. Like, that's all it takes for Pingu. To sound reasonable, and then he looks lib. Like, it's universal. Whereas Acro does the opposite. She just sounds unreasonable, and she's either lib or fascist doing it. So... It's pretty hard to read this time, whether it's genuine from Acro or Pingu. Three, four, five, seven all said they'd yaw five. I don't understand why we're waiting so long. Five needs to just pick somebody already. I think four, seven could still be two libs, by the way. I'm not really willing to call them both fat or at a, at a conf just because of the... Uh, just because Acro's calling Pingu fascist. Okay, well, everybody flip flopped. Now Acro is fascist. In the table. So you just pick 5 4 and you win. Pick 5 4, shoot 1. Ignore Acro. Um, three, five, six are all yawing five, and four said they'd yaw, and seven said they'd yaw. So five literally has free pick, and he just has to pick uh, C and H. Um, do I think two, six has Hitler here? Problem with this lobby is it's too strong. It's too strong to call anybody C and H or uh, Hitler or anything. I don't think Morientes is particularly Hitlery. I think he's a little bit too vanilla fascist for me. So, hmm. I like Pingu over Acro. I think Pingu and Acro could be two libs, and this could be five hailing. One and two both wanted seven as seed, by the way. <laughs> Is hail? Guess not. Yep. Boop, boop, boo. There's a blue. Medusa is liberal. Good job. Guys, we S seed a liberal. Schlobby carried. So 5 3 is lib lib, I think. Now the real the real play here is if three is Hitler. So three is Lib or Hitler, and if they did this as Hitler, I really have a lot of respect for him because that's a damn good play. That's the only way Morientes can hope to win is if three is Hitler, and I'm pretty sure five is gonna pick three here. Like three had to pull it out of their freaking butt to SC five here. Are you gonna top deck twice? Uh, 
It's like one, four, one of two, six. Acro's calling three, four, six. Uh, did you forget about one there, Acro? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, he drew RBB. What? What? When did he claim it? Like, how do I miss that, you know? I drew RBB. I don't see him claiming it, but whatever. Maybe I missed it. It's interesting that Medusa claims RBB, though. He didn't claim RBB. And why would he choice sale? Uh, that's a bit weird. That a bit weirds me out. But you wouldn't play the blue if you actually got it. Sale's not Hitler, right? So he knows to ditch. It's not like I, it's not like they got BBB. That's ridiculous. So uh, it just doesn't feel right. Something feels off about that, I guess. The late claim on the RBB and, and the fact that it was choiced. Maybe sale is liberal and five is fascist in that case. Maybe it's like five, six X. Hmm. I don't know. It's really easy to just call Medusa liberal here. And I'm pretty sure he is liberal. But, uh, someone in VC was mentioning 246, but I don't understand why you would even think about 246 here. With one on the board, one's completely silent now. They're just done. It could be 155 Hitler with one of 26. Man. Um, excuse me. One five six would be the only lines now, where five is fascist. That's actually it. So five is liberal, or it's one five six. I know how it feels, Bingo. Now Pingu's sounding mad. Three's not my fashion. Three would SC four. If it was three four. Four has one of two six. Not seven. Not seven unless seven is Hitler. So it'd be one four and one of two six for a pingu to be fascist. Or acro is Hitler. And it's four seven and one of two six. But I think one four is a lot more. Because like, I just put Morienti Morientes in pretty much every fascist line. I don't know why he can't I don't know why Pingu can't think that way. I wonder if I'm gonna be a hero and call Morientes liberal this game. He's just getting Completely out chatted. And I mean his his chat was so bad.
That's the problem with Pingu's logic, is that literally every single fascist line for everybody is going to be one and them and one of two six. One three two six, one four two six, one seven two six. Fives is literally one five six. Ah, it's Morienti's turn to start yelling. Freaking Ackert just keeps repeating the same thing. Trying to be helpful, Acro. You gotta help Five find somebody other than you. And you're pretty much calling three liberal, by the way, Acro. You're calling one four and one of two six. So, tell him to pick three if you're liberal. Otherwise, you're just fascist. Wanting to get picked. Maybe even Hitler. Oh wait, no, Acro called 346. That's right, I forgot about that. She's not even calling one fascist. <laughs> so like, 17X makes sense. Quite a lot of sense, actually. Hmm. Medusa pick seven. No, it's not like you've been talking, Acro. So one, four, six, seven, all locked in their votes. So seven's gonna yaw. I really don't know how you don't pick three here. It's really hard to, for me to see why you don't pick three. I know everyone's freaking yelling at you, hey, pick me. Right? All of 147, their entire chat was, hey, pick me, I have no fascist lines. That's not entirely true, obviously. They said reasoning and whatnot, but that was essentially their chat. They did not advocate for anybody else to get picked. And I mean, three might have said the same thing, but like, three also SE'd five, found a way to SE five here, which was just insane. Like, and it's such a carry, they almost deserve to get picked. They're liberal or Hitler. They're Hitler in like, I don't know, one, two, three, one, three, six. Really easy. Echo was the one calling for TD. I'm really hoping it is one six seven seven Hitler now. Hmm. But then I wonder how... Well, no, because 3 is liberal in that situation, and that's how uh, 7 doesn't get SE'd. Because, like, 2 was calling for 7 SE, but 2 doesn't matter. Um, so, then that makes a lot of sense, actually. 167. For the memes... Six and seven are yawing this. They're gonna top deck. Enough people are spinning now. If 
it was two, three, five spinning, and now one and four are spinning. Okay, Medusa Yod. Is that it? So Acro wasn't Hitler doing this. Now we shoot. Huh. Hmm. With two seven, okay. Six shot is fine. Seven two is playing. Who cares? Sale is C and H. Just pick them and, like, if you get 9, then you know it's 3v3. <laughs> this is the most obvious game ever. What the hell? Why is 6 getting shot so bad? Dude, it's not Veto Zone. It's not Veto Zone, and he's C and H. Acro, come on. It doesn't matter if Sale is lib. If he's fascist, he outs now. Jesus Christ. Now seven might out. So one's out of fascist. One's probably just Hitler, actually. <laughs> Whatever. Is it like... No. Best lines for Strom now is one, two, seven. They got the blue. It was one, four, six. Nice shot by Medusa. He carried. And so did Schlabi. I think Schlabi carried. Yep. Pingu, Hitler. I preferred Pingu over Acro, but it was wrong. Whatever. Man. So Schlabi, Schlabi didn't have a bad SE. It's kind of interesting that 1 2 went to SC7. That was a nice little misdirect, but it wasn't good enough. Like, Morientes was a little too obvious, I think, and so was Mellow. I wouldn't say Pingu was that bad of the fascist. Let's check the replay. Four blue deck. One did not ditch. Hmm. I think that 1 5 should be comp, but. Well, actually, no, I disagree. Never mind. Not with these lines. So, Mellow is the ditcher. Claims 2 is fascist. The problem I have with Acro this game is that she does all of what she did this game as Hitler, as fascist, all of it. She does it so much. He did get RBB. That's pretty good. So he played well to shoot 6 and uh, yeah, 7-2. Fairly straightforward game. So Jeb lost, Strom lost, and Pingu lost, which means Vice's team is going to be up. What's the leaderboard say now? Yeah, Vice's team is up. And so is uh, Morienti's, I mean uh, Medusa's team. Medusa played pretty well here. Very good. Well played by all, I think. Well. Sale played good too, actually. He played good to seam lib in 2-6. I'll leave it there.